Hey guys, this is Getsumar, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we got the Molmits and some mysterious shells, along with the boss key. And over here is a chest, a kinstone piece. And if we keep going to the other side, there should be another one, so let's go get it. We're pretty much done this dungeon, we're gonna go be fighting the boss in this episode, I'm pretty sure. He's not hard, so it'll be easy. 50 rupees! Yay! Alright, in here. Oops, wrong door. In here, collect a couple hearts. If we go up the stairs, we go down through this door. And if we press the switch, get a chest, but we gotta move this thing to it. And we wanna do that. So let's do that. That's right, Link. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. You know you feel the burn. Yeah. A lot of work, but gold chests are nice, so we want them. So we get kinstone pieces, and we can always use those, because we can buy them later on. They're expensive as crap. And oh, I've got those two chests. Wait, what's in them? Ah, and I'm gonna do that. Oh well, they're not of importance. We'll get them later. There's a little portal. Now let's go kick some butt. Oh yeah, um, you don't want your bow and arrow for this for the start. You played Wind Waker, then you're gonna find this boss very familiar. And he's familiar to the guy in the Shadow Temple in Ocarina of Time. It's a statue with hands that you whoop his ass. Or rather, spank those hands with an arrow. Pretty much, shoot the eyes on the hands. Until they're both broken, he will fall. You turn Minish, go inside, break the switch. Oops. That's all. Go Minish. Put on your. Actually, uh, we don't need mole mitts this time around, but the next couple we will. Then see the switch? Break it. And once it's broken, it kicks you out. Then you go back to being big, and they can see you, which is crappy. Very crappy, actually. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh, did not mean to do that. Actually, yeah. Well, no, I didn't. And here's hit number two. He's a pretty easy boss. Now we want the moments. So we gotta find it. It's not too hard to find. In the back too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's this one. Boom. One more and we're done. Cause the three hit rule for bosses is cool. Uh oh. That was close. Take a few hits, it doesn't matter. We got plenty of hearts. Now we need the moments. It should be a front one, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, it's not. Crap. Break it in time, break it in time. There we go. Yeah, if you take too long, um, the switch will kick you up before you break the... I mean, the hand will kick you before you break the switch, and that's not fun, but we killed him, so we win. Yay! We get a heart container. Yay! Ten hearts, hooray! And now let's go get the next element. Now 
We are the tribe of the winds. Long have we lived with the winds. We have mastered them. Now we join them. Together with the great winds at our backs, we head for the skies. Those who come seeking our power must play the notes Zephyr teaches. May they lead you onward to the power that you seek. We get the Ocarina of Wind! North, south, east, and west are all just a breath away. You know those little uh, symbols that we got from the stones in Hyrule Town and stuff? Well now we can port to them! And the wind element is beyond our reach, cause it's not here. Alright. Element was not here, but at least we now know where its whereabouts are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um... Let's go get those chests, cause we have to. Well, we don't have to, but, uh, Items are nice. Very nice. They're probably not hard at all to get anyways. Just a quick stop. Yep, just a quick stop. Red pinstone piece. And... Ow. Red pinstone piece. Okay, that's all. Now that we got those, we're done here. Now we can go back to the adventure! Hooray! Which means heart piece hunting. Now let's get the orc green out. Can we call them here? Nope. When you play the ocarina, a bird will come and steal you. And now we can warp to any one of these points. Let's go to Mount Krennel. Because we want to do something there. Yes. You play the... If you activate a windcrest and you play the ocarina there, you can warp to it. Simple enough. We don't need Ezlo, the clueless, uh, telling us what to do. We don't need him. We got this. Alright, now where's Melari? Should be in here. And we trade kinstones with him. Yeah! We get a pretty good thing from this. So believe me, you want to do this. Very nice reward. Now, we just gotta get to that place, which is not far away. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Oops, we wanna go the other way. Oh yeah, we got Pegasus boots. So we run now. They're so handy now that we have a use for them that it's awesome. And just run forward. Back to being big and in here. Yeah, sorry if my commentary is lacking, but I'm not better just yet. Oops. I'm on the road, but meh. On the plus side, Oiler shut out the Flyers yesterday, which is a nice. I like to win. We're going for draft picks, but wins are still good. Oh yeah. Take us there, oh mighty mushroom. Hooray! And that was my MSN. My friend's trying to talk to me. Oh well, he can wait. Oh yeah, it's this way, isn't it? Not. Oops. No. I forgot. Crap. Uh... Okay... I guess this isn't the way... Crap... Ah, oh, shit. Oh well. I'm gonna speed this up, cause it's nothing different. Yeah, we're just gonna go back to being small. Oh wait, no, we wanna be big. Um, it's not that far away, we can easily get it. I'm just being stupid. Alright. Um, 
Should be over here. No. Ah. Oh. Where is it? Oh my god, I'm... Ah, oh, why did I forget? It's right up there. Oh, that's why I'm retarded. So next time on Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we'll get uh, that beanstalk and hopefully do some other things now that we just completed another dungeon. So I'll see you next time. And sorry for failing towards the end. <laughs> Alright, bye.